Can they pull it off here in game number one? Or will it be Tundra holding the line steady, able to fend them off for long enough to get their heroes online? Tundra holding a, a different line, but that's because they're going for the kill onto Tomato down here. Tomato in some trouble, and they are going to be able to bring him down. Nine Class and Toby, they have the damage between them to finish off the Luna. Looking at mid lane as well, like top lane, it's a lot of fight, but this mid lane, I think, is the most important lane for Tundra. Like, when you're picking this uh, Pugna blind and you allow the, pa the Pangolin to come in, like, Pango, he provides you that team fight, he provides you that comfort, and I told you to look mid and drought died top, so I fully take the L for that Thank one. You. I appreciate Even that. though you are observing, it's my fault because I dragged you away from the lane. And uh, now I... Oh, now we're discussing. Yeah, now we're discussing top lane, yeah, so we okay, missed bottom. Right. Yeah. Refresh, refresh, we got this, all right? Yeah, we're going to work together to get it done. Get a bit of regen coming through as Drown the top side once again being chased under the tower by Ari and Whisper, and they will be able to bring him down. Whisper, though, taking some heavy hits in response, but he's standing his ground against White Mon, knows that uh, they will be able to get the kill if he stays here, so White Mon backs himself out. Still wants to try and grab some range creeps. Is he going to pay the price for it, though? Damage is coming through onto the clockwork. Clock running One for favor. the trees, running for the trees. Cogs come out. Is it going to be enough to save his he life? Doesn't have mana anymore. Looks like it might. Ari's going to go down to the tower instead. <laughs> just die straight up to tower shots. Now Pure, he's looking for a bit of revenge right now, trying to just chase down Whisper. The rockets are out. The flares are down. He goes down. It's down to the bottom side. Seb's going to fall as well. Toby in some trouble. Tomato chasing under for Toby. The panda, he's in some trouble. He's going to go up to the portal. Obviously not going to go through it. Just running away. Tomato, he's got the Lucent Beam. In comes Ari as well. Trying to help out. Cinder Brew is down. Roshan running past. Not going to clip anybody. Tomato, he should eventually get this kill. But Toby's going to make him work for it. And the right click will find him. Toby will go down. You know, you know, flexing that draft and... Sure, just match it with the ability to sustain through and pure. He's getting jumped in top lane. Oh, good silence. Won't be good enough, though, as Whisper's coming in. Oh, that said, Discrepify, it's nice. Is it enough, though? Rolling Thunder comes through, finishes the job, pure goes down. Seth taking damage from Whiteman here, but Whiteman all by himself ain't going to be able to do a whole lot as uh, BZM comes rolling through to finish the job, but Whisper gets a kill regardless. Two kills on the top side. OG characteristically bringing five heroes to these engagement. Absolutely oh, not afraid here. to overcommit. Yeah, this is brave from the little green guy. He's just going to get blasted Ooh. down. Very questionable rotation from Thompson. Now, White Mon and Nine Class going to head to the bottom side, see what's what down here. Seb is kind of getting harassed right now. White Mon looking to interrupt the possible tether. And in fact, there is no possible tether. Luna's just bailing. She's not going to give Seb away out of this because she knows that there's, there's something's up. And they will just get the IO kill on the tower as well. So Tundra able to progress their own map state a little bit here. Ooh, hook shot in. They oh, don't yeah. get the pushback. They found the Luna. That's pretty big. Yeah, pushback does not connect, though. Is that going to be enough to keep the Luna alive, though? Split comes down. In. Damage on the tower. It is going to be too much onto Tomato. He will fall. Whisper, Ari, Seb, all looking for a bit of revenge as BZM leads a charge with the Rolling Thunder. Nine class going to get stunned up for the time being. Fate Bolt is out. What does he have? Taser is all that's left, and it will not be enough. Nine class will die. Just going to go a little deep here, get a bit of vision down. Who are they going to try and find, though? At the moment, they're going to be bumping into Whiteman if they continue in this uh, in this pathing ball. So tops and everyone's yeah, in the area. might just be outnumbered here. They're going to unleash, and that's Big a lot hook. of damage coming on down. But Thompson immediately goes for the life train, but has to back himself away. BZM's just gone straight off the bat. Seb's getting low as well, and with this very fast, they will be able to take him down. And Whisper now with no help will just fall. Three heroes, four heroes, just dead in the blink of an eye. Tundra, they didn't win the fight. They just beat OG down. I'm sure there's a world where if they were entertaining someone else needing an item, he might even go join that person. Also, the relocate value of uh, the Razor is a little bit more impactful right now. Because yes, losing true. a Whisper in the fight isn't as game losing as, oh, I'm sorry, Tomato, I've just dragged you into the third shit fight of the game. Let me just uh, <laughs> let me recover that one for you, boss. <laughs> And avoid that where possible. Oh, uh -oh. talk about that. Uh -oh. Oh. Not the target you want to be seeing dropping right now for the side of OG, but Toby will take him down. Elsewhere, BZM gets run down by 9 class and pure. Two big kills. The one and the two from OG just taken out simultaneously across the map and top side. There's more action going on right now. Seb, he's got no way out of this one. He's just going to get beaten down as well. Eventually. Let's get a cheeky ward down. Wand is available. Probably not going to use it in this situation, though. Not when you've got teammates to heal. I know that OG has the confidence to ramp up the aggression again. Like, even though they're behind, they're currently getting chased down. We might just see the Razor BKB here to TP out. Yeah, he's trying to make he's sure you see Toby. To just getting, he's just dead. He's just oh. dead. No TP available. Pure. He's got the damage. You can't TP out in front of a drow. That's just never going to work. And they're just going to be able to scoop up two free kills. Christ, Toby nearly has an AC know. as well. Oh, my. They are... Looking so scary Goodness now. Me. 
Yeah, this... Bro, they found the drow kind Ooh, of. Okay, Any okay. Damage? I mean, it's an Aegis drow, so bringing it down is going to be a challenge. Another hookshot comes through from Whitemon as well, just to bring the extra layer of disruption. And they just want to try and get her out. But they're leaving a lot of stragglers behind here on Tundra. They are going to be losing nine class as well. They'll go towards Toby. Toby, no split available. Whisper and Ari, though, they've got all the targets right now. They want to bring down Pure. They want to bring down the big man. And Seb's on top of him, along with Tomato. The oh. dust is out. No escape for Pure, but he's so damn fast. Finally gets away. And OG, they're not willing to push the this under tower they're not willing to go absolutely crazy right now not when Thompson's behind BKB out from the Pugna turns around with the suck onto Tomato Tomato force to pop the Eclipse and try and turn this one around 9 class of Toby taking a little damage but there's more coming out to Tomato and he is gonna fall Whisper as well taking damage from the drought but once again Seb's there with the heels allows him to cut down Toby but Pure looking to put an end to Seb here and with the blast Topston will kill his former captain and now move on for more but who will they find Ari's TPing himself away White one's not gonna be here in time to find anybody so right now it will be OG pulling off a bit of a. If your position is good, you can brush off an eclipse with just one well placed four yeah. star. Right? I just wonder if it's punishable as. Uh... Alright, Seb is here. Oops, and now dead. he's dead. And now mid lane as well. They're trying to go on tops and he. He's just had standing his ground though with the BKP and uh, with the life drain as well. And now falls up the high ground. Him. Whisper has gotten so low from all of this right now. He doesn't really have much help. BKP is available, but. They'll turn the tunnel Toby. to Toby. Toby, he's stunned up. He's stunned up. He can't get off the split. It's a big kill. Can they get more? They'll look over towards Topson here. Topson, he's trying to stand his ground, but no more BKP available for Topson. He might just go down here. To Grapify comes out onto himself, turns around with the suck. He gets the health back. He gets a kill to Whisper as well. Now look at Pure. Pure though. He's a big, big target. And Tomato, he's going for it right now, but he's going to regret it. Pure turns around. Bang, bang. Taken now. Ari falls as well. Tundra, you cannot approach them. Not without a better plan than this. On the right on. He Woo! finds him. Finds BZM. Trying to run away. Diffusal is out, but BZM... He just doesn't have a whole lot left. The roll-up is all that's left available to him. Seb comes through trying to help him out, but the dust is on him. The damage is there. Rocket Flare to help out as well. Seb just trying to absorb some arrows for his mid laner. Everything for my mid laner and BZM will make it out. He was just farming. He was just hitting creeps and I mean he was farming damn well, but uh oh. BZM might just be dead here. Rolling Thunder gonna come out pure though. He wants to chase the right click. Oh my god! <laughs> That's 40 HP, BZM. Just about gets out, but meanwhile, Io's been caught as well. Whisper looking over towards Nine Class here. BKB comes out with the link. Oh, he uses it onto the uh to, to the techies. The techies just gonna be able to run himself away. Whisper's not gonna be able to get out of this one. He goes down as well. With the techies mines down, the clockworks and all this, it, it is so hard to, to play the wider map and Tundra, they are relentless. It's pretty much been 24 Megas? minutes of farm from OG. OG, they might try and stop the mega creeps from coming they out can't. here, but they can't. It's already what? gone. The right click Pugna with the constant nether blast coming out. Uh, they're just going to get everything and leave. Tundra well on their way to securing game number one here in the upper bracket finals. As That's also say. ignoring the triple four stuff that they have in play, right? Like double support. It's ignoring a lot of things, all right? <laughs> but they have to ignore something. They've yeah. Okay, Whispers uh, already got zero HP. Ooh. Dead. Pure, he's looking. Oh, he's cooking. He's finding, landing onto Whisper. Of course, four stuff away, breaks the static immediately, and Whisper just going to get pegged down by right clicks from the Pugna. Can't quite finish the job here, though. BKB to stop BZM from stunning him, and White One's going to connect onto Seb. Not the target he wanted, but the target he'll accept, as Seb's just going to get cooked up inside of these cogs. And there comes some multi shots to <laughs> Topson, brings them both down. BZM and Seb, both gone forever. It just feels like there can be no response. And again, if Tops, if, if the side of Tundra are able to take up these fast, fast paced fights, then things are going to look pretty good for them. No BKBs up on the side of OG. They cannot fight. There is just too much control, too much damage. Decrapifies and all sorts of whatnots come through onto them. Beastmaster ready with a split whenever he needs it. Primal split comes down, giving the extra tower damage. Ancient exposed. Six seconds still on the... Oh, it's, it's, it's over. The Ancient is falling. They know it. We know it. GG is called. Game number one. It goes to Tundra Esports. If he goes for, let's say, like the Radiance, then he knows in the back of his mind that it, it, he just needs to be in that right fight to give mischance to a Lycan or a Gyrocopter, or even the Marcy with the ultimate, and it will Bottom provide lane, some more fight. Toby very low, right as is Seb. Who's going to fall? Nine class will be the one to go down. That'll be your first blood going to both Seb and Tomato. Maxine Dilation doesn't have a single point in time lock. <laughs> like, full control. I'd love to know level 8. 
All right, chat, what are we saying? Level eight, four point dilation or Corona? We'll see in a minute, but the aggression is underneath tower. Ooh, dilation comes out, does land onto the Marcy. And I mean, it's only one, but it'll do the job. Twitch chat, half of you'll be wrong, half will be right. And assuming it's 50-50. Thompson tries to get the time walk away, doesn't quite do so back into the ultimate of Seb. And Thompson will fall. The expected move on this morphing, I've been talking about it the entire time. They're bringing all the heroes top. Five heroes again, nine minutes into the game. They're jump I've jumping on the this Pure. one before. Pure's going to be the target. Then it's just too much damage for him to survive. Top got a glimpse back to base as well. Oh, okay. They then overcompensate. Tundra's very chill, very confident gameplay so far. And another mid, another static storm, another huge amount of damage coming through onto Tops, and he's dead again. Seb just absolutely hammering into Tops at the moment. BZM, of course, gets the kill as Whitemon. Getting beaten down now as well by OG, so it's going to be a secondary kill for OG in the middle lane. I mean, we've, I've already said that there's no damage for Chrono, right? So if he hits Bottom a Chrono, side, do they die? Seb, Seb, getting a bit of revenge here, Tundra, should be able to bring down the OG captain, and Downey will fall. Seb is gone, and now they're over towards BZM as well. BZM, a bigger target. If they can bring him down, this would be huge, and I think they can. They've got the pacing. Toby gets a double kill down on the bottom side, but Tomato coming in, trying to finish off Whitemon. Will he connect? There comes a the homing missile. The damage is going to be there. Crit! It's not going to be enough, but Ari comes through on the side and finds him with the rebound. About to complete that Helm of uh, the Overlord, of course, with the... Ooh, uh, they've got the vision on the Pure. Do they Ooh, it's so he's hard out. to catch him, though. Static Glimpse. Storm is there. They're going to go TPN. for it. They're going to go for it. It's a two supports. BZM coming through as well. TP out, though, from Pure, but the rebound is going to be there for Maori. And down goes BZM. The wolves that like and always scout on the map. The Kotal can jump in and use that for a boost. Rebound, travel. rebounders down on the bottom side. Seb they managed dead? to find Seb. Seb, I mean, no static storm, but he is just going to straight up die. Chronosphere comes down onto BZM as Thompson runs past him. Not the most impactful of Chronospheres of the game, but uh, nevertheless, that's what we're getting. Whitemon on the run right now, trying to move himself down south, gown away from Tomato, but Tomato will find him and get the kill. And OG just running over Tundra right now. The OG cause. Helm the Overlord complete. That is taking over the Ancient, you know, just forcing the map. You've got Boots of Travel Vessels soon to be Orchid on Keeper Alight. Like, just the disparity in the fighting items of OG compared to, like, the utility scaling of Tundra really gives OG the opportunity to keep hammering down the map. And they're not really going to let off. They, they are still positioned bottom. Seb, of course, with the Static Storm in, in play, he wants to try and go for it. And Tundra... They're jumping in. Yeah, this time they'll just settle for the techies kill. Thompson's nearby, but he's, they bullied him enough. Or maybe they haven't. Thompson, time walk away. Toby, he's in on the side. Primal split available. Gonna have to use it here if he doesn't want to get them back. And they do want to bring down Tomato. Tomato looking very vulnerable on the front lines here. No one coming in to help him. He will fall. Now, throw it up into the Black air. Is coming. They might find the plus one. BZM, he's in trouble as well. Pure's on top in the house. Reducing the damage a bit, but not nearly enough as BZM gets cut down as well. Down to the back lines. The Lycan is kind of ripping through them at the moment, and they're looking for more targets. Thompson up onto the cliff, trying to get himself some sort of safety here, but unfortunately, they still... Oh, no, they've lost vision. Ari can't get up. He can't get up. And he's stunned. Oh! No way did that work. The cliff jump. Now Pure, he's <laughs> ripping through everybody else in the back line. It's an ultra kill for Pure on the Morphle. <laughs> <laughs> what a play! <laughs> Jumping up to the cliff, dropping the time dilations. These melee heroes with no vision and absolute despair there. Thompson. Tier 2 tower being absolutely smacked at the moment. Tundra though, looking to maybe find somebody out of yeah. position here. They're smoked up. They, they have the, like the blink on Toby. If you can find the back lines, if you can throw that keeper right into the air, then it's going to help out there. They're going to find each other mid. Ooh, they find big Seb. Catches. Seb tries to go for the tag storm. Does do so, but he's also glimpsed Toby back. out of it. Oh. A bit of panic there coming out from Seb as Ari now being left behind looking for the rebound tie when he's already used it. Tomato coming in. Oh, he comes Toby. down. Oh my god. Just catching Toby on that one as well. Impressively, in fact. But uh, nevertheless, you know, still looking okay. White one's going to get run down. Tomato's dead for the first time. Dead for the second time. Maybe here if they can get on top of him. Pure, he's going in with the damage. Tomato trying to stand his ground. But with that Spirit Vessel on him, he's just not healing up from the Morph Mask at all. And he's going to get killed off. But didn't even have the life steal. So just goes down. Locked into the 1v1. BZM in trouble now as well. Tundra putting it together once more. Beating up BZM. But he's pretty fast. And he will get away. As a... Uh, oh, okay. Uh, the creeps just... Uh, Mobbing the poor old uh, Rubik. Oh, look at the quick buy of this void. Look at the build. Radiance next. <laughs> there it is. Matter is complete. And 
Yeah, yeah. Other than the fact that Toby did blink, like they had the awkward like chrono brew blink. I love the fact that Toby went for the straight blink dagger after the vessel. Like it is very disruptive for OG. Like this fight, you have two teams kind of trying to make an aggressive play. Tundra just a little bit quicker in BZM their move. They are going to pick off BZM, yeah, but this gone. is this is the main thing. Like Tundra, they're setting the pace in the game. Like sure, there's an a there was an Aegis in play. He then misses the void, glimpses the brute back out of the fight. You can't really fight with major confidence there. And I think Tundra, I respect the fact that they are just being so aggressive. And he's now just throwing out static onto a Rubik. Is there any follow up though? Yeah, glimpse back. Oh, perfect. time with the rebound yeah. as well. That was cute. And that's going to get him killed. To nine class. It's a, it's, a, it's a little snack. They haven't. They've got BKB coming out on Coddle. So the only one who hasn't hit their timing is the Marcy. But the three cores of OG all have a big ticket item to reveal here. And they're jumping onto Pure. He has a BKB himself. So they're having to disengage. Modo, already half HP. Seb, they need him for the fights, but they're not going to get him. He's just going to get taken down by Toby. Drops the Static Storm at the very last minute, but it's not going to do a whole lot. Tomato has just been completely zoned from the fight by Pure. As in the back lines, Chronosphere comes out onto Ari. White one's there as well with the blast off, and they will be able to bring down the Marcy. Thompson. Able to land the Chrono and get the kill. For OG, it now feels like the, the stall tactics. And can they really stall though? If Void and Morphling want to walk up to a high ground, use that Bruce split as well to start chipping down the towers. Or BZM. Not ideal, but the kind of state of the game for OG is just kind of this right now. And Whisper going for the TP. White one gonna find him though. TP cancelled out as wait, wait! T Tomato is dead in the middle lane? Okay, well, we'll watch this as Seb gets taken out. Whitemon gonna not be able to escape from the creeps, but Whisper just now on the run. Actually turns around and realizes, wait a minute, why, why am I running? And oh yeah, oh, he it's, it's, because, it's, it's because Toby's here. He's trying to go for the, the cheeky pick off onto Nine Class, but that's gonna cost him his life, and Nine Class will be absolutely fine. But uh, Gyrocopter died in the middle lane. He just got chronoed between a Gyrocopter and, a, and, uh, and the Morphling. Yeah. Like, Gyrocopter, he wants a Stanic, but is nowhere near shot to die is it's just a toby pick off once again where was this tundra at the start of the qualifiers they have just they've just woken up it seems like him thrown into the air under the tier fours pure on him once again ari trying to stun him up will be successful in doing that but will he keep whisper alive no he will not toby finds another Destroying people on this Brewmaster. Pure, just absolutely uncontested on the Morphling as well. Every fight he's turned up to has just been relentlessly successful for the side of Tundra. Now your high ground's being threatened. Your base is starting to fall. Pure, Satanic off. The Heavenly Bind and the Satanic can now jump in onto BZM, BZM, BKB's out, but the right clicks are there from Pure. More than enough to bring down the Coddle. That's your mid laner, just gone. Pure, he wants out, he's done with this. I mean, they, they can get out of this game. Like, I think OG, so. they're, they're, they've got nothing. Harry's gone. They're falling Seb's to pieces. next. The right click's coming, Chronosphere into the fountain, just to make absolutely sure. <laughs> A little bit of the delayed revenge for Thompson there. <laughs> That's for the early game. Oh, this game. Tundra again. Concede a little bit of the early game, but then they just come out swinging. What can they do? OG, I mean, both supports responding in 25 seconds. One the last is exposed. try. Tomato, 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 holding the BKB, trying to wait for his teammates to respawn. Knows there's no chance of them actually being able to take this one without everybody alive. But the BKB inside the fountain, you're not staying in this game. Ancient's starting to fall now. Tomato inside the fountain, just trying to do something, anything to hold on to this one. Eight seconds on Seb. Static Storm may be available. Tundra, they're going to respect it. But the pings are coming. They want to try this right now. BCM though, he's just TPing into his death. They'll roll upon him immediately. Stun in the back lines. Ari, he goes in deep to find Toby on the front. Meanwhile, Static Storm is out onto the Morphling. But Morphling doesn't give a damn. He's chilling. Thompson out looking at the Ancient. Ari jumps over him, but immediately just getting jumped upon by these two. Thompson getting kind of low here. Buyback from Toby as they just want to finish the game. Ancient being punched right now. Whisper running around the side lens, just trying to cause some sort of issue to stop Tundra punching their throne. But Pure, he just keeps on clicking. Now the Gyrocopter throwing up into the air just to make sure absolutely nothing can stop Pure from ending this game. And it will be a 2-0. You know, outscale eventually, sure, but not to this level. Tundra two games in a row just dismantling OG. 